Hi, I'm John Blacher, and today we're going to take a look at Highfield's Ocean Master 540 Deluxe. Highfield's Ocean Master models are heavy duty ribs designed to handle rough open water. With a 4mm thick welded aluminum hull supporting a 24 degree dead rise, this Ocean Master 540 has a very solid, flex free feeling. We didn't have much swell, but after crossing our camera boat's wake a few times, we did manage to find a few cruiser wakes, which the 540 sliced through with ease. So impressed with this hull. This kind of dead rise is amazing. The Georgia Bay can get pretty rough sometimes. If you've got to go somewhere, you want a tender that can get you there regardless of the weather or the wave condition. This high field, no problem at all. All Ocean Masters include full length keel guards, heavy duty double rubbing strakes, a bow step with a mooring cleat, anti slip self draining decks, and large sturdy handrails on the console. Our deluxe test model has a few additional creature comfort features over the base commercial Ocean Master. A full width bench seat behind the center console integrated into the transom has a large dry storage compartment underneath. This configuration does sacrifice some open space near the transom, but provides a more comfortable rear seat for three, away from the pitching that can occur towards the bow in heavier seas. Three cushioned backrests provide support, and a gas strut holds up the seat hatch for easy access to the large aft compartment. The beefy helm seat flips up for standing, and the center console has a storage compartment under the front passenger seat. The flip down console hatch allows easy access to the instrument panel wiring should you want to add or troubleshoot electronics in the future. Since the 105 liter fuel tank is integrated under the deck, there's room for a third storage locker under the front seat in the bow. Our test boat had a few additional options including a solid aluminum tow arch with large welded cleats on both sides adding to both form and function. An LED all around mast headlight is fixed at the top so you never have to stow or hunt for it. A very solid fold down rear boarding ladder was mounted to the port side of the transom with non skid material above it for secure footing. There is a lot of room to move around this boat, which should make it easy to manage passengers and large loads. You know, rigid inflatable boats, or ribs as they're known, are quite a fun boat. In Europe, they outsell North America quite a bit. But the trend's catching on here as well. And the reason really is the versatility. If you look at a boat like this, um, it looks like an industrial kind of work boat. But it's also quite often used as a tender. But at the same time, they can be really, really versatile for a cottage boat. You can fish in them. You can even wakeboard or water ski behind this boat. The lightweight F-115B from Yamaha is an excellent match for the Ocean Master 540. With less weight than the older 115A, there is very little bow rise. And the added mid-range torque makes for impressive acceleration. This boat was on plane in under four seconds. 40 miles per hour arrives quickly and can be maintained comfortably in most sea conditions. With a light load, 50 miles an hour is possible with the 115. You, know, you can power these boats with a 90, but I tell you, I wouldn't do that. So the fuel efficiency is Yamaha four coats. There's no reason not to go to a 115. With a 115, you can do this. Handling was predictable and solid with a fair bit of lean in the corners, but not enough to get wet. Now, quite often you'll be standing behind the wheel of a boat like this. So of course Highfield gives you a great standing position, lots of handholds. But something else, knowing this boat's going to be used in fairly big water, this is an ocean master after all. Every square inch of the floor is covered in non-skid. close to getting me wet, there's no spray, and it's just comfortable and safe. Highfield's Ocean Master ribs offer reliable transportation regardless of sea conditions. 
The deluxe versions provide a little more comfort and dry storage for cruising, making them an ideal commercial inflatable or cottage taxi. Listen to how quiet those Yamahas are. You can't hear them. The gyro on our camera is louder than the outboard. 